children's book author with Mascot Books, and I hope you're staying well and safe with your family, and I'd love to read you my first book, Being Small Isn't So Bad After All. The book won a 2019 Author Academy Award for Best Picture Book, and it was written based on my daughter's experience of being the shortest one in class. My head is spinning. My throat is red. I'm feeling crummy. I'm staying in bed. My eyes are itchy and my ears really ache. Going to school today would be a mistake. So now the little girl's mommy says, you're cool to the touch. You don't look sick. Could this be some kind of trick? Because mother knows best. That's how I know. Something's wrong and you don't want to go. You're a wonderful child, so sweet and strong. Come sit in my lap and tell me what's wrong. So now the little girl says, well, the yardstick at school measures how much we've grown, but with my name all the way at the bottom, I feel so alone. My friends can reach the cubbies, light switch and stink, while I stand on a stool when I want a drink. She says, my feet just dangle when I sit in my chair. I could only go on rides with a high pony in my hair. The shallow pool water comes up at my nose. My feet always hurt from standing on my toes. She says, it seems like sports are made for kids who are tall. I can't even get my hand on the ball. My friends call me Shorty, Peanut, Munchkin, and Squirt. Looking up all the time makes my neck really hurt. Can you guys imagine if you had to look up all the time? She says, I have to walk twice as fast as my friends. My pants are like tunnels. The holes never end. And when it's time to form teams, I'm always last pick. That's why today I'm pretending to be sick. Don't you see that being small really isn't fun at all? So now her mommy tries to make her feel better. And her mommy says, oh honey, try not to feel blue. There's so much more that small kids like you can do. When playing limbo, you can get really low. You give other, others a clear view when seeing a show. You're the last one to get wet when it rains and you get the most leg room when we fly in a plane. Your feet never touch the end of the bed. You can climb almost anywhere without bumping your head. You can squeeze through a fence to fetch a lost ball and have a much shorter drop if you happen to fall. And what about class photos? You're the first one they see. You don't have to duck from a branch on a tree. You can wiggle into the, into the carts at the grocery store and squish into the small spaces that you want to explore. I hope you don't feel upset by your height. You can do anything if you give it your might. You have so much to offer because of your size. Take it from me, your mom's was wise. So now the little girl says, you're totally right about the things that you say. I feel so much better when you put it that way. I'm off to learn, play, and have fun too. I'll try out the things only I can do. Now the little girl says, I went to school and I'm happy to report. As it turns out, I like being short. I got to see once and for all that being small isn't so bad after all. The end. Thank you guys so much for listening to Being Small Isn't So Bad After All.